Hello YouTube, here's a tutorial of how to install and uh, configure permissions for your bucket server. Let's go ahead and get started. So, first thing you want to do is download permissions. And click download. And I'll put this link to this page in the description. Uh, once you've downloaded that, open the file with WinRAR or extract it. Then open up your server file, open up your plugins file, then copy these two and drag them over here. Copy and paste, cut and paste, whatever you want. Alright, so then you want to run your server, let it generate the files so it works correctly. Stop it again. So next you're going to go back into the plugins and you go into the permissions folder and this is where we'll start configuring it. Alright, so the first thing we want to do with configuring it is when you go in the permissions file you want to rename this to the name of your map. So if you want to figure out the name of your map, uh, default would be world. It's going to be this folder right here. Uh, you look inside the folder, there will be these files. So always be these files. So I won't mind his name world, so I'll name this world. It's configuration. You can have as many configurations as you want, but they need to, and they can be named for different worlds, so each will have different permissions for different worlds in your server. So let's uh, go ahead and open that, and there'll be a bunch of instructions here. You can delete these if you want. This is what I do, because I think they're in the way. I delete most of this. Just keep uh, that if you want. You can delete all of that, too. And now we'll go ahead and start with the more complicated part. Oh, and also you can delete these two. You'll want to keep this one for reference. So, these are groups. They're different user groups. You can put different people in. And these different people can have different permissions for different group. Uh, so, these permissions in the different groups are certain commands you can do in game and these commands will come in plugins and those plugins will have certain permissions nodes in which you can put in and allow certain users to do certain commands so I'll go ahead and walk you through all of this then get into how to do the main configuration for permissions per group so the, this is just the name you can set this to anything you want it won't matter unless you have iChats and you've configured iChat you haven't configured iChat because that will become before everybody's name in iChat. But if you don't have iChat, don't worry about that. It's just the name. You can change this to whatever you want. Uh, all right. Default is basically it means if a new user logs in for the first time, this is the group that will automatically pl be placed in. Um, this is where you have to find users in groups, and if they're not down here, they'll be in this group. You can change this name if you want, but don't edit this unless you want to make it false. Info is info. I'll leave that line. Prefix is what you want to show before their name in chat. You'll need the uh, configuration. Oh, not configuration. Plugin for a chat plugin uh, for your server for this to be able to work. So how this works is I can type. I want their name to be default, so I'll put default. Now before the name, their name in their server, they'll have the word default. If I want to color this, I'll put the link to this page in the description. Uh, there's a page on the internet that will tell you all these codes, but these codes actually color things. So you'll put the and sign, and you'll put um, the color you want. So three would represent a certain color. And if you don't have N3 at the end, well, and F at the end, actually, uh, it will continue until the end of the person's name. If I put and F at the end, the name will become white again. See how simple that is. Also, you can do more complicated things like this, and 3, and 3, and 3 and three and this l makes it so every little text in here including these bars are colored 
And the name will also be colored because you haven't typed and f to make it white at the end. You don't need to type and f, it's optional. Suffix is the same thing as prefix, but it's after the name. Build is if this user can place or destroy blocks or use any tool, including flint and steel. This could be set as true or false. Same thing as the default kind of thing, true or false. Inheritance is the group you would like uh, that group to inherit permissions from. So if default have the permissions foo bar, and you wanted the moderator to have the permissions foo bar, you just inherit them like this. Inheritance, and you'll probably want to put single quotes around this, just so it'll read it a bit better. I do that. It doesn't matter at all, pretty much. <sighs> and that's about it for inheritance. Be sure it's on the correct um, line here, or it won't read it correctly, and you'll get an error. So this needs to match up with this, and they both need to match up, right? Great. Um, so this is the a tiny bit easier, but a tiny bit more complicated part. Um, what you need to do is for you'll go to a different plugin. So if I want to get something like uh, I'll search for a plugin called Epic Zones. So I want to install Epic Zones. So I'll get that. And I'll download the jar and all that. And if you scroll down the page, it should give you certain permissions. Uh, so it'll talk about permissions here. And if I wanted to build in a certain zone or whatever, I'd put this in the permissions. But this isn't the best, um, well, I would say example. So I'll type LWC locks. This is a bit easier to understand. Uh, I'll go to the LWC plugin, or I could just go for lock it. Now, if I go down here to permissions, and will show you all of these little nodes, that's what they call them. And they usually should tell you for each node what this will let you do. So if they have locket.create in their permissions, you'll be allowed to create a protected container or door. Um, the, all these administrator commands are for certain other things. You could read this, pause the video if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and continue. So when you want to put one of these in your permissions, just copy it. It's easier this way. Then put in, I'll add this for admin. So I'll put an answer after that. And make sure there are no tabs in this. If there are tabs, it will not read it correctly. And this goes for every line in this entire configuration. So go ahead and put the dash, then a space, then a single quote, paste that, and then put another single quote. Now they'll have the locket admin create permission. This permission here means every permission from every plugin. You can't do this all the time. Uh, this is giving you permissions for that certain plugin, or you would actually put it like this. But this doesn't work with all plugins, so I'd recommend not doing it unless you know it will work. And I'll just put that because I don't know what it was before. I don't really remember. Now, let's get along to putting users in that certain groups. So what you want to do is you just want to copy this. You can change. Oopsie, so I'll undo that. You'll, if this is the easiest way, just copy this paste this and get rid of this because you shouldn't have users and you can change either of these names so I want this to be my username and I can make this some random guy's username let's just do that and I can change which group they're in so if I want the flights to be in a moderator group I would type moderator here now he's a moderator. Permissions are certain permissions that the group doesn't have, but you'd like that individual user to have. 
Go ahead and do that the same way. Make sure they're lined up with this. Um, see if I can do this. And we got that. So, just try to line it up the best you can. If you don't line it up correctly, it will mess up. So be careful with that. I'll just go ahead and check like this. It's easier this way. So between the M and the I. Let's do that. And if I want them to have a certain command no one else can, I'm making sure there's no tabs. I'll type dash, single quotes, look back on my LWC. Uh, I want them to have the admin break command. So I'd give them the admin break command. And now they can break admin chests. No reason you probably want to do this, but you know. Anyways. Uh, also, you can make new groups. Just copy, go ahead and copy this. Paste this, and this is the easiest way. Be sure that everything lines up correctly. If it's red, it usually means it's not done correctly. There are tabs or something like that. You can change the name, change the defaults. Uh, you can change prefix and suffix, the build, inheritance permissions. You can change all of that. Uh, all it is is a new group. So that was your tutorial of permissions. Uh, I hope you understand it a bit better now. And go ahead and rate and comment. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe. Bye.